other method of testing that I have at my disposal right from within this UI is robotic testing. There's a sub tab here labeled robotic test executions. And if I click in, I'm now able to see and select any of the number of test suites that I'd like to trigger before this deployment. So let's select the starter suite and click on run test. All right, so what will happen here is a robot will log into the necessary environment in the background and fully automate the actions that a human would otherwise need to perform. And so what exactly does this look like? Well, let's take a look here at this test run. And so this is an example of the types of recordings that you'll have full access to if you wanted to audit a particular test run or see exactly where a test failed. So you'll see that the robot is highlighting all the areas in blue that it first searches for and then clicks on. Go to leads, click on the new button in the top right, fill in all this information for a new lead record. And so this is the robot doing all of this and looking for errors along the way, like what it just found here. And so after it creates the lead, it moves the lead up through the lead stages, ultimately converting this lead and making sure that the lead conversion itself was successful. And so it's gonna go ahead and include validating the account, the contact, and the opportunity that were all created. And of course, if this script were to fail, the test run would stop and it would certainly let you know but you can have different test scripts like this, one set up for each of your business processes in any Salesforce cloud that you want to make sure that they remain functioning correctly over time. And the way that these test scripts are written is very simple. So here, this is an example of the UI for creating a script where you have the script itself being built out on the left and the web page on the right where you're recording your actions. So you can see here that I'm turning on the recorder right now. And let's say I wanna build the test case that we just saw run, where I start with uh, creating a lead. So I'm gonna navigate first to the sales app in Salesforce, and then I'll click on the leads drop down and select new lead. Now notice that while I'm doing this, this left portion of my screen is having these steps auto scripted for me in the flow editor, which uses these easy to understand cards or tiles. So an example of the Salesforce nuances being taken care of by our robotic testing is that tile towards uh, the top left. And that says uh, to intelligently limit the text search now to the pop-out modal in the right for building out the lead. So as more information gets input about this lead, you can see it all being recorded here. And this becomes a script that can be run over and over by a robot to save valuable time and ensure that nothing has broken in upstream environments due to any of your Salesforce changes. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and stop the recorder. And now let's say that you wanna tinker with the script a little bit. I can do so in the left pane as these cards in the flow editor just consist of our special keywords and commands like click text, type text and validate text. And there's also an option to anchor the various steps of your script to make them more accurate and more reliable. And so as you can see, there's absolutely no need to be an experienced developer at all. You can use the recorder to create your test suites or you can even drag and drop the appropriate steps from the palette, such as the command to save and close when you're done. There's no need to learn sales, uh, or excuse me, no need to learn Selenese or any sort of scripting language. In fact, this is very different from Selenium and uh, those solutions in two main ways. The first is this is so easy to script and write that it completely democratizes the test creation process. Way more people can contribute to building these out and it saves them a lot of time given how intuitive both the recorder and the keywords and commands are. The second is that we use unique technology to locate what buttons the robot should click and what the text should be verified. We do not use the XPath locators like Selenium does, which can dynamically change in the background at random times, effectively breaking your scripts with no notice. Our robotic framework uses the front end text on the page. 
So unless you go out of your way to change the text label of a button or the field name, then your scripts are never going to need to be rewritten. So if we come back to essentials now, we can see that this test run was successful and there are no errors, which gives me the green light to go ahead and deploy this work. And the other thing too is you can click in and if you do so, you're brought to the robotic testing application where you get a detailed breakdown of the results. And this is also where you'd be able to access the screen recordings that I showed you earlier for investigation. And furthermore, there are even project-wide analytics that can be referenced to track the performance of your tests, analyze your usage, and identify trends. So you can see this functionality gives Essentials the advantage of being a one-stop shop for both CI, CD, and automated testing, complementing each other right out of the box.